May 26. The reading is entitled, With Consecrated Men and Women. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. 1 Corinthians 1, 26. Not all can fill the same place, but every one who yields himself to the consecrating influence of the Holy Spirit will be under the control of Christ, and for consecrated men and women, God has made full provision. He will carry on his work by a variety of ways and instruments. It is not alone the most talented, not alone those who hold high positions of trust or are the most highly educated that the Lord will use in his work of soul saving. He will use many who have had few advantages. By the use of simple means, he will bring those who own property and land to a belief of the truth and these will become God's helping hand in the advancement of his work. It is not always the brightest talent that accomplishes the most for God. The Lord can speak through anyone who is consecrated to his service. When we catch the spirit of the message that is to lead souls to choose between life and death, we shall see a work done that we do not now dream of. Once let the missionary spirit take hold of men and women, young and old, and we shall see many going into the highways and hedges and compelling the honest in heart to come in. Let those who labor for souls remember that they are pledged to cooperate with Christ, to obey his directions, to follow his guidance. Every day they are to ask for and receive power from on high. They are to cherish a constant sense of the Savior's love, his efficiency, his watchfulness, his tenderness. They are to look to him as the shepherd and bishop of their souls. Then they will have the sympathy and support of the heavenly angels. Christ will be their joy and crown of rejoicing. Their hearts will be controlled by the Holy Spirit. They will go forth clothed with holy zeal and their efforts will be accompanied by a power proportionate to the importance of the message they proclaim. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.